All right, guys, Pat from the Frog Depot here again. I uh, want to do a video of something I am personally very proud of. Uh, I have spent countless hours uh, just researching and acquiring and all this, and uh, we are finally proud to say that we have our uh, introduction of all of our premium substrates on the market. We've done a bunch of soft... Um, introductions out there where we have often the public we've had phenomenal feedback from everybody uh, I just want to go over them quick with you um, because like I said it's been months um, we had a brand new substrate room constructed uh, acquiring all these top uh, premium ingredients in bulk is uh, tough in, in this uh, pandemic but so we're gonna go over a few of them that we're, we're proud to offer right now so number one uh, Tropy Biome so what is Tropy Biome? This is your classic ABG, to a T. We use the original ABG recipe, the whole nine yards, the ratios and everything. It even has tree fern fiber in it. Um, and the nice part about every substrate you're gonna find here is that we've already added the beneficial bacterias and fungi for you to get your tank cycled. There's no need to go out and buy more uh, to get things going. I've already put it in every single batch that we put through. So, again, Tropy Biome is for you dark frog people. Um, it is your classic ABG, but like I said, it does have all the beneficial uh, bacteria in it all set to go. Another one that's been massive for us, Ceratostrap. This is our Pac-Man. Uh, this one I am personally really, really, really proud of because I've done so many different substrates um, with Pac-Mans here over the years and we finally came up with one that I really like. It holds moisture extremely well. It also has um, burrowing capabilities so the frogs can do what they do best. Um, so this is it's a really nice fine substrate. So there is no reason that they're going to have any kind of impaction issues with this. Like I said, we've sent this out to the top breeders in the country and some of the top keepers, and they absolutely love the Serrata Strat. And as you can see, there's a theme here. We don't, I don't really want to make a one substrate fits all. Um, the, each one has specific purpose for a specific kind of animal or biome or stratosphere layer things like that so and again that does it already has your beneficial bacteria in it and the reason for that is so you could go bioactive you could go bioactive with any one of these substrates um, the only one there is one that does not have that in which we will go over in a little bit um, so the next huge one that we've had phenomenal success is our tree frog this is humatostrat so obviously in the name it kind of says it's really really good for holding humidity mm -hmm. um, this is actually our most complicated as far as ingredients and mixtures go uh, over 11 ingredients go into this bag um, so this is this is a really cool mix and again we've been sending this out behind closed doors and uh, we haven't had one person say they absolutely hated it right off the bat um, you can see that this stuff is not just plain, mostly peat, which you will see with some other mixtures out there. Um, we really take great care to putting the multiple ingredients in here, balancing what has to go in, pH-wise, bacteria-wise, and ensuring that it's going to be good and this substrate is going to be set for years and years and years to come. Because the whole idea mm -hmm. of your bioactive is that you're not just keep dropping money into the tank you want it to go and, and we have a bioactive video as well um, another one yes we do not do spiders but I have a lot of spider friends that uh, help me develop the arachne biome uh, again this is perfect for your burrowing spiders uh, your humidity loving spiders one thing I and millipedes and vinegaroons as well one thing I probably wouldn't suggest this for is more of your desert species we're working on that and that will come but for the majority of your tropical arachnids millipedes vinegars stuff's amazing um, so the last one again this one is the one that will not really have the beneficial bacteria we develop isostrat with calcium and there's also an isostrat without calcium the reason we did this is because some of your 
I mean, they all need calcium to some extent, all your isopods, but there's certain ones like your cuberis, your armadilliums that really require an added calcium. Uh, and that's not to say that you shouldn't still be putting your cuddle bones and other supplements in, but you can actually see um, that we have mixed in the calcium in with it. And it's a lovely mix of your hardwoods, your, your obviously your topsoils and such like that. And then of course your leaves. And this has gone over phenomenal uh, with the isopod people. Uh, and we've used this here and our, our stuff loves it. Um, so there's all kinds of goodies in that ISO strap for those guys to keep going and fuel the fires. Doesn't mean you can't you put leaves and your cork bark and stuff in it, but it's so much stuff in that ISO strat. Again, that's probably our second most complicated soil. Last thing to go over today, we have a whole line of biodegradables. Biodegradables basically are stuff that's going to go in your tank that's made to biodegrade. Uh, this in particular is our combo kit where you can get your sphagnum moss and your live oak leaves already in there. We have other biodegradables like your magnolia pods, your Indian almond leaf, your sea grape leaf, your magnolia leaf, your live uh, live oak sold by itself. All this stuff also comes in three quart, or as I showed you earlier, the big uh, six quart bags. And all of the information is on our site as to which size would be appropriate for your size tank, whether you have a 10 gallon, a 40 gallon, an 18, 18, 18, things like that. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this really quick um, video. Just kind of, I, I just want to get these out there and show you guys because I just put so much time and effort into these. I'm, I'm really, really happy to finally get this project off the ground. So make sure to like, subscribe, keep following us. We really appreciate you guys. Take care.